Hey guys, it's Jean. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, I do subscription unboxing and baggings, and I do all sorts. I also do some thrifting, some hauls, some clearance rack shopping, um, mystery boxes and bags, and product reviews. So if those are the kind of videos you are interested in, please hit that subscribe button. I do love getting new subscribers, and welcome back to my current friends. You guys are awesome. Um, today, we have... Truvalis. I'm hopefully I'm saying that correct. Truvalis. And this is um a subscription. It is a subscription box. And um I have the plan called the Sightseer, and it is I get this box every two months. And it came in this plastic, so I just opened that up. Um, this is, it is a lifestyle box. And um, this month, March, we're going to Turkey. So this is boxes from Turkey. Um, every second month, just going to read you a little bit about it, um, you will receive an exciting box of six to eight authentic local items made um, in a featured destination. So that would be Turkey. Um, we keep the contents a surprise, but we can tell you that each box contains a mix of delightful full-size food and lifestyle items, such as home decor, bath and body, kitchen tools, wearable accessories, and more. We never include clutter, cheap junk, or tacky souvenirs a beautiful postcard and discovery booklet that reveals more about the products and the destination. Um, so my subscription, like I said, is every two months and this comes from Canada and it is Canadian price is $49.99 um, every two months. For the U.S. it's $39.66. I believe that I signed up for, I don't remember what I actually signed up for, but I do get it for a little bit cheaper. Um, I think I get it for like $34.99. Um, I don't know how much I prepaid if I did, um, but we're going to get into this box. Um, like I said, it's from Turkey. Now, um, there's two thing, two items that were not in the box. They were in the envelope, and they are food items. <laughs> if I have any information, um, like websites or links or anything, I will definitely put them in the um, subscription box or uh, description box. Um, the May box they will be announcing on March 31st. You can, they do have a few of the turkey boxes, <laughs> turkey boxes, um, the turkey boxes left um, if anybody's interested. So this is Pismat. Pes I am the worst at just pronouncing things, names, you name it. This is Pamani. That's what it looks like, and it is some sort of treat. Um, let's see. Um, okay, traditional cotton candy with vanilla and cocoa. So it is cotton candy, <laughs> cotton candy, vanilla and cocoa. I am not opening these um, because PJ and I will. We'll try these together. Um, so you will see us trying these um, in another video. So, but I'll definitely um, let you know. We also have, yeah, I'm not even gonna say it, but this is called Turkish Delight Double Nuts. Pistachio, hazelnuts, coconut, and almond. And these things look delicious. And a double pistachio with double pistachio, hazelnut, peanuts, coconut, and almond. 
Wow. I don't know what else is in there, but they look fabulous. So looking forward to trying these too. So, all right. Because if you last <laughs> watched the last unboxing, there was some weird stuff in the last one. Um, and PJ and I tried the guava paste and that was quite interesting. All right, so let's get into it. So that is what it looks like. And there is the postcard from Turkey. There we go. We have a pamphlet. Looks like there's more food in here. <laughs> All right, so this is, oh. Ooh. This is coffee. Oh my. Oh, that smells delicious. All right, so this is edition number three and this is March and we are going to try and get to the items here. Okay. Yep. Um, all right. Um, I'm just going to pull the first thing out that I see. And this is this Turkish coffee. And there is a little bit of a, a hole in there. Um, something must have poked it. Uh, but I will put a little tape over that. Um, smells absolutely fabulous. But this is the coffee. And, um, <laughs> all right, let's find English. Okay, so this is dark roast Turkish coffee. Forget your third wave pour overs. Coffee consumed in the Turkish way is the true original. Prepared unfiltered, sweetened to your taste, and packing a caffeinated kick. Turkish coffee is served in ornate cups paired with sinful sweets and a refreshing side glass of cold water to cleanse the palate. Um, there's also a little, uh, you can go on the website and actually see how they actually prepare it. So, um, pretty cool. <sighs> Smells so good. So that will be for PJ. I'm sure he will enjoy that. All right, and this has got so many really gorgeous, oh, beautiful stuff in here. All right, we are going to pull out Okay, so this is a hand and body cream with natural olive oil, and this is, I, I, I'm i not even gonna attempt to, per, to pronounce it. Let's find it in here. Okay, this is what it looks like. And it does have a seal. All right, so. So, uh, uh, again, I'm not even going to try to pronounce it because it would just be, uh, I would just, it would be insulting, I got to tell you. So, there is the packaging. Now, this says, as the world's fourth largest producer of olive oil, it's easy to spot the golden elixir's strong presence in everything uh, from national cuisine to Turkish wrestling. <laughs> For the past century, this brand... Luxury skincare company has also been util utilizing the moisturizing and regenerative qualities of olive oil in its hand and body creams. So, um, looking forward to trying this. Um, I all I can smell is coffee, and that is not a bad thing. So, um, I am very happy with that. All right, so many stuff in here. All right. Let's pull out these. What are these? These are interesting. I, again, I don't know what they are. So these are by Dr. Oetker. The Pinnacle of Comfort in a Cup. Okay, so that's what these are. Um, blended with hot milk and cinnamon. 
salap is a truly Turkish taste made with ground tubers of wild orchids, of wild orchids, long available only in local markets and considered a rarity outside of Turkey. We are excited to let you in on the Salep secret. Mix one sachet with 150 milliliters of hot milk. Um, and there's other recipes that you can try on the website. I'm not sure about this. <laughs> I don't drink milk. I don't particularly like milk. Um, every once in a while I will have some, you know, have cereal, but milk just tears up my stomach. PJ doesn't drink milk. He drinks oat milk. Um, almond milk if he can't find oat milk. Um, he may try this. He may not. This, um, yeah, I don't know. If, if he tries it, I might try it. We'll see. Nothing guaranteed. Or maybe I'll send it to Tiffany. I mean, that's not mean. <laughs> And you guys, if I say Tiffany, you all know I'm talking about Tiffany wears t-shirts. So anyway, there's those. Um, all right, next up we have, this is super pretty, but we're, yeah, we're going to pull this out. So this is mini Killam purse, mini sack. And this is so gorgeous. And this is no visit to Turkey. Oh, but it does have a little um, ring in here, and you can also clip it on. Okay, so it says, no visit to Turkey is complete without a visit to the bazaar. And a hand-knotted Killam rug is the ultimate must-have souvenir to take back home. These mini Killam purses are the perfect place to save your pocket change for the bazaar's bargaining experience that awaits you on your next Turkish adventure. So this is gorgeous. I absolutely love it. Absolutely. Super, super happy with that. Um, all right. Let me just kind of get rid of some of this All right, so we have, and I love these things, and I have a, a set of four, and this is a hand-painted tulip bowl, and I love this. I have um, some other ones. I don't know where I got the other ones, what box they came in, but this is absolutely gorgeous, and this is a hand-painted tulip bowl. The Netherlands are synonymous with tulips or tulbent, but these classic blooms were originally imported from Turkey. These artisanal hand-painted ceramic bowls features Turkey's natural flower, uh, national flower, making each a one-of-a-kind creation. Turkish ceramics are noted for their vivid colors that brighten up any table and these bowls we suggest as a jewelry dish or incense bowl will make any tabletop blossom and that is gorgeous i absolutely love it love it love it and this this is why i love this box um because this these are nice this is nice stuff all right and finally we have something in here that is absolutely fabulous and I'm going to put it all together. And this is what this is. Okay, just make sure I get everything out of there. I do, I do. And that is this. This is gorgeous. And it's got the little cup. And I absolutely think that is gorgeous. And it's got the, and we're gonna read about this. Um, if I can find it. 
Well, they say there's a bonus in here, but it's not in here. These were um, Uker. I don't know, they were some biscuits, but I didn't see any biscuits. Darn. <laughs> like I need a biscuit. All right, so let's go to, this is Finken, F-I-N-C-A-N, Traditional Coffee Demitasse. This is absolutely gorgeous. All right. Handmade by Turkish artisans, the traditional thin can is not your regular coffee cup. Most often made from copper, the engraved lid and outer shell not only keep the contents warm, but also prompt reflection within its ornamentations. A Turkish coffee break is any time to relax and recharge. And who would want to rush with cups as ornate as these? And this is absolutely gorgeous. I just, it's, it's absolutely beautiful. And I love it. And I have absolutely no use for it, but I love it. And it'll be displayed in my display cabinet. <laughs> and I love it. So, that's everything. Like I said, there was a bonus item that's not in here, but um, I'm okay with that. Um, so, I'm just going to briefly read you about these. So the Double Nuts Turkish Delight, um, which is this, the quintessential Turkish dessert satisfying sweet tooth since the 1700s. Locum pears, it's upside down. You guys didn't tell me it was upside down. Locum pears perfectly with a steaming thinking of strong coffee which is that beautiful little container there. Um, while we've gone with a decadent double nut version, other famous varieties of Turkish delights include rose water and cardamom, which I'm glad I didn't get. Um, so that's a little bit about these. This box is heavy, <laughs> really heavy. All right, and then these cotton candy elevated. Blending flour, roasted, blending flour roasted in butter and with pulled sugar. This is a melt-in-the-mouth marvel you won't soon forget. We've gone all out to present you with these extra special these. Bonbons are covered in chocolate one bite and you're hooked. So, um, again, PJ and I will be trying those um, in the video eventually. We have... Um, <laughs> A couple of boxes that we need to to do so we will um, add those in as a matter of fact I have a we have the box that we got from Jen button which is Turkish delights so very uh, convenient who knows if some of these may be in there or may not but we will definitely try them so that is everything in the Truvalis um, box, turkey edition. So we got the wonderful, as I just knocked myself in the head, we got the candy or delights, whatever you want to call them, the treats. And we got the coffee. And we got the, um, Celep, which you put in milk hot milk. Um, who knows? Tiffany may be trying it. <laughs> and we got the hand cream, the olive oil hand and body cream. And the gorgeous tulip bowl. Beautiful little um, purse, change purse, I guess you could say. And the Thin can, which, like I said, is beautiful. Absolutely, it's gorgeous. I mean, just the detail. 
on the top and on the little cup itself. Boy, if I drank co coffee, that would be so much. Oh, that would be so great to drink out of that. Okay, so that's everything. Um, again, $39.99. No, is it $39.99? Yes, thirty nine sixty six, um, and it's every two months. It's called the Sightseer. They have um, the Explorer, and they also have the Globe Trotter. Those are um, a bit more expensive, um, but uh, I I love this subscription, and I think I'm getting more. I, I um, most of my subscriptions I um, prepay for it, you know three months or six months or um, just so I don't have to <laughs> think about it. <laughs> so um, that's everything. Guys, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Again, if you are new, please hit that subscribe button. I do love getting new subscribers. And to my current friends, you guys are awesome. I truly appreciate you all. I love you guys. Thank you for watching my videos and um, just being you guys making me happy. So I hope that everybody has a wonderful evening and I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys.